Hi friends, it's Angie, your independent sensei consultant, coming to you from my basement um, in the sensei office that I'm, it's a work in progress, right? Always. Um, so I am bringing you today my sensei empties. Um, it's kind of a sad day today. Actually, I'm also really, really hot in this basement. It's nice and cool. So I'm loving that. But yeah, it's a sad day today because my older teens, sorry, I'm like all up in the, all up in the camera. My older teens went back to college today. Um, Julie is an RA this semester. So she had to go back early for her life RA training. And Annalise is finishing up her second semester summer class. So both of them are now at UVA. Sorry, my basket is like crazy full. In fact, it's overflowing, like so much overflowing. So I'm excited to go through all this stuff with you. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, they left this morning to go back to school. So that's really sad. Um, I'm really proud of them. They're really hard workers and they're awesome girls, but it's not the same without them here. All right, so this was a gift for Rowan. It's hey, hey, the buddy. Um, and it came with the Moana Spirit of Montanui scent pack which I don't know the scent notes of this one. I think it's like bananas and berries or something. Maybe a flower component, but it's really good. So I'm gonna put some non-wax items in there for safekeeping. Um, I have two packs of cotton cleanups that I opened. So I didn't finish both of those, but I did open them both. Um, a Luna body cream and an It's Love body cream. We love the body cream huge fans. A dish soap in Fiesta Lime. This smells so good. Sometimes these products have scent notes on them, but this one does not. But so this is Fiesta Lime. We got through a washer whips in cucumber and cactus water. This was from the summer collection. It's a great scent. Um, we have an air purifier filter. You guys I love to see how gross people's air purifier filters get. They always get disgusting because these things suck out all the gross stuff that's in your air. So this starts out really, really clean and white, and now it's covered in dust and pet hair and grossness. If you have pets, you need an air purifier. I would take it out of this bag, but the bag is literally keeping all of that stuff from flying right into my face. And you know, I already put that air purifier to work collecting all this stuff. I don't really want to put it back in my face. Seems like a bad idea. We have dryer discs. They look like this. This one's pretty banged up. It's been in the dryer for a minute. But this is Palm Beach Breeze. Palm Beach Breeze. We have... What else have we gotten through? A counter clean and sun-kissed citrus. A hand soap in Autumn Road Trip. I'm pretty seasonal, but with, with hand soaps, not as much. Um, we had to replace a light bulb, so this is a 25 watt bulb. And then there's a bunch of pods. I've been really working to change out the pods in my car a lot more often. So, um, so I've been going through more. And then we also took pods with us to on vacation. So this was one pink haze and one lemon drizzle cake which means it came from my car. The pink hay still has a little bit of scent to it, so I might keep this one around. That's not much. I might, yeah, I think it's, I think it's just, we're gonna call it done. This is a single open pod in first day of fall, just random. We have this, uh, this packaging says Lucky Starfruit. This is the one I took on vacation, but there's two random pods in here that aren't Lucky Starfruit. There's a Shimmer pod and apple and cinnamon sticks so who knows what happened there I you know <laughs> beats me this pod pack says pink sugarberry mint but the pods inside are prickly pear and agave prickly pear and agave so and those smell like nothing they're literally gone so that's the non-wax items that I've gotten through and it's actually quite a lot like three pad packs and a, there's a lot going on there Oh, wait, here's another pack of dryer discs in Palm Beach Breeze. Palm, Bre Palm Beach Breeze. I can't talk. Talking is hard. 
It looks like there was a wax accident on the back side of my desk. I just noticed it. Um, okay, cool, cool. So let's go through this wax that we have gotten through. Um, my dear Watson, this was warmed in the bedroom and the scent notes are refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. Yum. Love story. I think there's two of these. Love story. Well, I thought there was two of those, but maybe not. Okay. Love story. Basement. I did use two, so I don't know where the other one went, but innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. So that is love story. A bar of graham cracker crunch, which is coming back to us in the fall and winter catalog. I warm this in the kitchen, of course. This is an ideal kitchen scent. Um, caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. And even just the open, empty clamshell smells delightful. Like, look at, this is empty, and it just smells so good. Mulberry bush, Sarah's favorite scent. I order, I get one of these once a month in my club, so I have to go through them pretty often. This one was in Rowan's room. Sweet mulberry, accented with bittersweet orange peels. Oh gosh, there's so many bars. There's always so many bars. All right, so we've got three bar of Desert Tropics. This was the August, July 2022 scent of the month. So just last month, a bright array of tropical berries, dragon fruit, lush mango, and pineapple come alive after a desert rain. And then Aloha Citrus. I warm this in my bedroom. A fresh tide of tangerine, jade blossom, and vetiver. Vetiver? Vetiver? How do you pronounce that word? I don't know. Um, Ambrosia. I warmed this in my entrance. This was also a bring back my bar. Combining super sweet pineapple with sweet tart mandarin orange, the fruit bowl continues to fill with perfectly ripe pears and rich Concord grapes. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I do not like pear scents. I like pears, but I do not like pear scent. This one is okay because it's got enough of other things going on that it's like a pear blended into this fruit medley. Oh, by the way, it's wax and wine. So it blends in that pear note um, quite nicely. And so then I don't get whatever it is that I don't like about Sensi's pear. All right. So in the family room, I did lemon sorbet, which is fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest sweetened by sugar cane. This one smells like just a bright, sweet, cheery lemon. Nothing extra. It's just fresh, bright yellow lemon. So good. Did I already do the washer lifts in French lavender? I don't think I did. I know I'm a disaster. My hair is crazy. I dyed it. It didn't go well. You know, it's just, it's just been a little bit crazy for me lately. Um, so I apologize for the nuttiness. Okay. We did get through two bars of glacier water, which is the August 2022 scent of the month. I warmed them. Is there a third one? No. I warmed them in my family room and in my bedroom. Um, glacier water rushes into a mountain stream peacefully flowing over bright bergamot, aquatic lavender, and driftwood. So this scent, it's not strong. It's not a boomer. It's kind of like a medium, medium strong, you know? Um, so it's not like a rainbow sherbet that's going to blast you out. It lasts longer than rainbow sherbet. Um, but it's like a good medium scent that kind of trucks along. So it's a great, I think that's a great performer. I like when a scent kind of lingers and stays for more than a day. Um, it's got a little bit of like a soapy cologne clean man vibe to it, but it's good. I like soapy cologne clean man vibes. It's, it's a favorite. In my bedroom, I warmed Darling Dahlia. I think this was in like the, one of the flash sale bundles, maybe. So it was in my bedroom and the scent notes for Darling Dahlia, which of course is not available. None of these are really available right now because it's fall now, fall, winter, and it's 100 degrees outside. I'm not ready to warm fall, winter. So this one is Heirloom Peach, Bashful Dahlia, and Strawberry. 
I have not warmed a single bar from the new releases. I just can't get myself there yet until it cools off a little bit. Um, this one is blueberry pancakes. I warmed it in my kitchen. It's the from the June 2022 Bring Back My Bar. Blueberry and butter accord over light maple make the mood. This one is amazing. This is Rowan's favorite. Like when she sniffed through all the Bring Back My Bars, she kept wanting this one. So she really is a fan of blueberry pancakes and so am I. Um, Banana Rama. This is also Bring Back My Bar. I'm not sure what year. I think 2021. Maybe 2020. Um, I warmed this in my kitchen and it's sweet golden ripe bananas. And I don't see the bar that I warmed it with, but I know that I warmed one at the same time. Okay, so here's the other love story. So see, there was a waxident. I'm not sure what happened in my basement, but it was a, something happened that was messy because, and of course, they didn't tell me about it. So when I warmed Bananarama in my kitchen, I warmed banana nut bread at the same time. And it took that banana note up a notch. Okay, peachy and palm trees. This was in the summer collection of 2022, so just recently. Um, I warmed it in the kitchen. Sweet peach and mango add a tangy twist to smooth coconut milk. So that's a good one. If you're looking for a peachy scent. Now, I did not club peachy and palm trees, so I think this may have been my last bar. I'm not sure. There might be another one down here. Um, I'm in my basement and I store a lot of my Scentsy bars down here, so there could be another one, but probably not. This one is Spring Forward. Um, this one I did in Rowan's room, and this one is also from a Bring Back My Bar, but I'm not sure when. Usually I try to like remember and write it down, but I did not this time. So this one I warmed in Rowan's room. It smells like a burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedar wood. I can't get all of that out of here. I kind of smell the cedarwood notes in there, but I'm not getting the raspberry. Well, maybe I do. I wouldn't be able to pick it out as that. Okay, so this is pink rhubarb sugar. You can see there, the wax didn't happen here too. I mean, I really wonder what happened. Um, I warmed this in the family room. It's so good. Pink rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. It says pink rhubarb sugar. Lush Gardenia. So it's kind of like florals are interesting, right? Because they're not as beloved as, you know, our fruities, our freshes, our bakery. Oh gosh, do I love bakery, right? Florals are interesting. Lush Gardenia is like super floral, like as floral as they come. Powdery, grandma's bosom, you know, the powdery notes that you could get from like Avon powders, that's Lush Gardenia, right? But there's something like good about it. Like there's something classy or classic or something about a Lush Gardenia. So I don't know. I like it. So I warm this in my entrance and the scent notes are the creamy full scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose. Now, I don't know what a tuberose smells like, but I do know what a gardenia smells like because I had a gardenia bush outside of my back door when I lived in the South. Gardenia smelled delightful, by the way. This smells very, very much like a gardenia. It's so good. It's so true to the name. I can see that some people probably don't like this. I warm a whole bar at a time on every bar. So, my entranceway was a full bar of Lush Gardenia, full bar. So that's a lot of flower. Um, it lasts a long time. It's a really good performer. But the thing about the floral scents that are like super floral, like not like a, a peachy and palm trees. Well, that doesn't have floral in it, but you know, one of those scents that has like a fruit and a floral or like something else and a floral, those have a little bit more staying power. But the stuff like Lush Gardenia, um, Lilacs and Violets is another one that's also just straight flowers. Those I feel like are suited better for like springtime. And so it's a little bit overwhelming in the summer because it's hot out and that heat like kind of makes that feel heavy. Like the air sits heavy in the room. Um, 
And of course, I'm sure that that's been discontinued for the winter because it's now fall winter again. Um, so if you haven't checked out the fall winter catalog, you really should because there's so many new things, so much awesome stuff going on, so many amazing warmers that are absolutely beautiful. However, um, I'm trying to still utilize these florals because I don't want to just be like, well, it's, you know, August and, um, but that definitely smells like springtime. It does. So I feel like there's like kind of a limited window for that. Um, but I do really like it. Okay. So then this one was a whiff box exclusive. It's Mojito Mambo. I had never smelled this one before. I never warmed it before because I was not a scentsy, um, I was not, I was a Scentsy consumer at the time that this came out in the bricks, but I was not a Scentsy consultant yet. And I didn't know, um, to cash in on all those LTOs. Like I didn't, I wasn't as cognizant of that. So I warmed this in my entrance. Again, this was a whiff box exclusive, exclusive, excuse me, Mojito Mambo, sparkling club soda, crushed lime and muddled mint leaf sway away with white rum. Y'all, this smells so good. So good. It's like a summer mint. I want more of this. I am praying that we get to vote this back and bring back my bar. I am so excited. I want all of this. All of the Mojito Mambo, please. Please and thank you. Okay. So, this perfect gentleman, Father's Day 2021. I warmed it in my bedroom. It's actually warming in my bedroom now. A charismatic blend of white, amber, and oak moss with a sleek finish of fresh marine water. That's perfect gentleman. Um, it's one of those clean masculine scents. It's a it's a medium performance, medium strength, and it's kind of it's one of those like cologne guys. It's like it's not as soapy as like Hendrix. Hendrix soapy? No, Hendrix is different. Um, Glacier Water. Glacier Water is soapy. Perfect gentleman's more cologne. -y. Okay, so Ocean is warming now in my family room and came out in spring of 2019. I love this scent in the laundry. Like if I ever see ocean laundry products coming back in the clearance, I will buy all of it. I love it so much. It's cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. And that's exactly what it is. It's super aquatic. It's got a little bit of a powdery water lily in there, but that makes it smell clean and fresh and wonderful. And I love to use that on the towels that go on the back of my couch because I think it smells delightful. Um, currently warming in my kitchen, which is kind of a weird place to warm this, but I just wanted it because in my family room right now, I have, oh shoot, where is in my family room right now? Um, something that I thought would go well with Hendrix. It's not, oh, it's ocean. I have ocean in my family room. I have Hendrix in my kitchen because they're side by side. So this is June 2017 is Bring Back My Bar and June 2020 or January 2022 is Bring Back My Bar. So it came back in June 17, January 22. Rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, and bold pink pepper harmonized with sweet tobacco flower. So I would not envision myself to be somebody who would like a Hendrix. That doesn't sound like me. I don't like patchouli. I don't always love sandalwood. A lot of people I know love sandalwood. Sandalwood anything. That's not me. Bold pink pepper. I don't really smell the pepper, but maybe it helps it blend all together. And then sweet tobacco flower. I don't know what tobacco flower smells like. But together, Thelva that makes for a really incredible scent. It's a little bit masculine. It's kind of dark and mysterious. Um, I kind of feel like it's a really good fit for August. And if you look, there's like little guitars on there. So that's super cute. So I like Hendrix. I didn't expect to like Hendrix, but I do. Um, and I also got their bar of inner peace. So this is my entrance. It's also from the June, 2022 bring back my bar. It's earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. So this is currently warming in my entrance way of my house. It kind of is blending with the Hendrix and the ocean and the perfect gentleman's in my bedroom. So like the whole upstairs is manly. And then we have Big Hero 6, Would You Like a Hug, which is currently warming in Rowan's room. So here are the scent notes of Big Hero 6, Would You Like a Hug. Individually great, but better together. Vibrant strawberry, wild raspberry, whipped marshmallow, and sweet sugar 
are bound by friendship and courage. So that's super cute. Um, so again, that's Big Hero 6. Would you like a hug? So that's Rowan's room. That's what's warming in our house. That's the empties that I've gotten through lately. Um, this week, I am off for the rest of the week, which is delightful. I plan on making some spaghetti sauce, some salsa. My tomato plants are like exploding. My cucumbers are exploding. I am giving away cucumbers left and right. Basically, if you come near me and you tell me you like cucumbers, you're leaving with a bag of cucumbers. Um, so the garden is really crazy. It's kind of awesome. Um, today at work, in fact, one of my friends was like, what's in your hair? And she pulled out a little tiny baby cucumber, like the blossom still attached. Like it was like a teeny tiny cuke. So um, yeah, so everything is like growing out of control. It's so exciting. Um, the chickens are producing eggs, like we're getting eggs every single day. It's been a really, really fun adventure. Um, I'm excited to make my own salsa. I'm excited to make my own spaghetti sauce. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on over here. Um, I closed out a party at the end of July to get cash in on some of those savings, um, of the spring and summer catalog as those things were on, uh, hello, sweetie. As those things were on back order, they're not back order, but on sale. Hi, she's distracting. <laughs> Hi, baby. We're not live, it's just recording. Oh. <laughs> it's just recording you. Um, so I did. Can I smell it? I'm sorry. What are you wanting to smell? Wh whatever, whichever one you're talking about. I'm not talking about any of them oh, right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Um, so anyway, I cashed out a party and that order has not shipped yet. So I am excited to get that. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, so I ordered some bars that I love. I ordered another Scentsy backpack for my wife because she wants one now too, because it's so amazing. Um, just all kinds of stuff that I cannot wait to get. So waiting for that order. Um, there's lots and lots of spring and summer bars in there because I'm not quite ready to embrace fall. Um, I will be placing a fall order though next Monday um, when the Alice in Wonderland collection launches because I can't wait. Um, I decided to wait for the Alice in Wonderland collection before I placed my fall order. So anyway, I will see you whenever those things start coming in and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. What are you guys warming? Are you guys warming spring and summer still? Have you switched over to fall just because Sensi says it's fall? Um, what what kind of things are you into right now? It's August. It's kind of the dog days of summer. You know, what are you warming? I can't wait to hear. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.